Hello and welcome inside the Orange County Register offices. I am Jonathan Camus, being joined by Steve Fryer. We are so excited to preview the first round and basically all of the Division I and Division II playoffs. There is a lot to talk about, Steve. Let's get right into it. 14 county teams made the Division I playoffs, and we have three OC versus OC matchups in the first round alone. Steve, top seed Orange Lutheran. They open up against San Clemente. Olu is 24 and four. Cypress is another top seed. They're in the bottom of the bracket, Steve. They are 23 and three, and they host the Trinity at large Servite. A lot of good games coming up, and you're going to be uh, at one that features yeah. two league champions. Yeah, and that is so bizarre. League champions in the first round of any playoff situation is amazing. So we got Beckman against Capistrano Valley at Capistrano Valley. Uh, Capistrano Valley won the South Coast League, top to bottom, the best all Orange County league in in uh, in, in baseball. Uh, and Beckman uh, won the Pacific Coast League. And, you know, and I'll tell you something, Jonathan. A lot of coaches uh, sort of grumble about Beckman a little bit. You know, they get a lofty record and all that, but they play in the Pacific Coast League, and a lot of people feel like they don't really play too much. You know, uh, top Division One competition. Here they get a chance to like show everybody, hey, you know, we, we belong in this. And I think a tough draw, Steve, is Jay Sarah. They're coming off winning the Boris Classic. They're on the road to play Miracosta, and then they might play Notre Dame of Sherman Oaks in the second round. Could be a tough way to go for Brett Kay and the Lions. Well, you know, one, one thing about Jay Sarah, though, certainly battle tested. First of all, in that Trinity League, they had to beat Sa Santa Margarita three games that final week of the regular season. Get that Boris Classic win uh, down in San Diego. And then also, you know, playing the Boris Classic South Bracket, too. Talk about a team and, and the Newport Elks tournament early around. Talk about a team that's battle-tested. Jay Sarah is that team. And that, that shortstop, Michael Curiel, what a run of shortstops that school has had. And uh, Curiel's right there. Shortstop you. Okay, let's go Division Two guys. We have Villa Park hosting CDM. Uh, also... Um, Villa Park's first year with Burt Call. What does he do, Steve? He gets into the playoffs since the first time since a guy named Mark Trombo was over there, huh? Yeah, and you know, Trombo is a pretty good pitcher, too. A lot of people don't know that. But uh, good stuff for Villa Park. You know, when you talk about coach of the year candidate, maybe Burt Call because uh, Villa Park finished dead last in the North Hills League last year, won the league championship this year, uh, played really well. North Hills League is sort of the lower of that, that Century Conference Crestview League with uh, Foothill and El Dorado, et cetera, uh, the top division, but pretty good. Coronel Del Mar comes out of that Wave League, and that's a lowered league, too, also in that Sunset Conference, but pretty gosh darn good baseball. Marina there, Newport Harbor, Laguna Beach, and CDM. That's pretty good also. You know what? And there are a couple little little interesting things going on in the, in the wild card round of this thing. And we got Santa Margarita in there, which was one of the hottest teams in the land before they dropped three games, kind of close games, too, some of them, to Jay Sarah. So Santa Margarita is really good. And Jabuco Hills finished second in the CV League behind a really good Elise and Miguel team. So Tribuco Hills, you know, and, uh, and Santa Margarita and Pacifica, too, if they get out of that wild card round, uh, they, they may be some, some teams to keep an eye on as the uh, playoffs unfold. All right, we'll be at the games uh, this week, guys. Steve Fryer, Jonathan Camus, we hope the rain goes away and that we could actually play some baseball this year. That'll be very nice. All right, thanks to Steve Fryer. I'm Jonathan Camus, and thank you for watching.